Time now for some great entertainment. A Bronx Tale is playing now at Seven Angels Theatre. And here to tell us all about it and the show, our co-director and actor, Joe Barbara, and actress, Marissa Folo Perry. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having us. Having us. Yeah, yeah, we're impressed so by the both of you, so just stop right there. quite the resumes well, here, well, that's both of you. My work here is done. Thank you, right, thank you very much. Thank you so much. Good night. Off. It was a pleasure. <laughs> Talk to your horn. Toot Please. Toot my horn. Hey, Toot it's on horn. national no. television. <laughs> but you know what? That's not right, Scott. <laughs> Come on, the family show. Uh, daytime Toot television. Your horn. Uh, uh, yeah. But no, okay, Smooth we're talking about guy. a Bronx tale, but you Smooth actually guy. were in a Bronx tale on Broadway before we get to see it here. Oh, that is correct. Yes, no, I, I've actually been a part of the original Broadway, the original production, which was at Paper Mill Playhouse, the world premiere, then the original Broadway cast, and the first national tour. So, yeah, um, we worked with, I mean, Chaz Palminteri with Bob De Niro with Alan Menken. I mean, we all put the show together. Uh, you call him Bob De Niro. Well, that's what we, we call him Bob. I mean, his name is Bob. You know, I have, I have, you know, Bob and I did the, the fight, you know, the famous fight scene in the Bronx Tale. If anyone knows the Bronx Tale, um, there's a huge fight scene with the bar, the bikers in the bar. And I originally was, a, was the main biker, and I was the guy that got beat up. And uh, Bob and I did the fight scene together. That's um, incredible. Yeah, right. he just came out and just grabbed me and started beating the living oh. daylights out of me, you know, um, uh, in rehearsal. And, and that was the end, that was the beginning. Yeah, it was, it just, he just grabbed me and said, boom, boom, and I'm taking the punches. I didn't know we were going to do it. It wasn't like it was choreographed. Right. It, it was just improv, happened. Yeah. It was just improv, just improv. Marissa. So. Yes. 2007 to 2009? Yes, yes. The lead in Hairspray yes. on Broadway, yeah. New York City. Yeah. Tell us about that. Yeah, it was amazing. I kind of th did things backwards. I, I jumped on Broadway as a star, and then I went and did ensemble after that. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, really proud of the career I had, and I grew up here in Connecticut, learned here in Connecticut. You're, I, you're Tracy Turnblad on Broadway. Yeah. At what, what 22? 22, yeah. 22, 22 years old, I, I Broadway debuted. And, and, yeah. But you're, you grew up here in Water. Yeah, yeah. And, and so this is really a coming home because we're going to get to go to the Seven Angel Theater and see a Bronx Tale mm -hmm. with this incredible Broadway talent. Yeah. Right here. We don't yeah. have to go into New York City. Exactly. That's exactly right. right. Yeah. That's right. If you're living under a shoe, tell us about the Bronx <laughs> Tale. What, what, what is the story? Do you want to say it? Tell. Okay. You so tell. Bronx Tale is a coming of age story set in the 60s with a little boy in the Bronx. He's sitting on his stoop one day. He witnesses a mob hit right outside his building, watches the whole thing go down. And when the police question him, he does not rat out the guy that did the killing. And the guy who did the killing, his, in the show, his name is Sonny. And Sonny sort of befriends this kid because he doesn't give sure, him up. Absolutely. And they strike up a real deep friendship over the years. And Sonny kind of takes him under his wing. And the story really is about the choices that you make in life. And the boy has the choice between his, his parents, who I, the thing I love about this show is that, you know, in a lot of mob movies, you have Godfather and, and Goodfellas and Sopranos and all of that. And, and you know, Italian Americans are depicted as, as criminals. And they're brilliantly written and brilliantly crafted pieces of art. But this story has that element, and it also shows the hardworking, blue-collar, honest-living mm. family. Mm -hmm. And that's what mm -hmm. this is about. And it's, it's Marissa plays the mother of the little boy. Nice. And, uh, and it's really about you know, making the right choices in life. And they're trying to steer him in the right direction. And Sonny is actually trying to steer him in the right direction, too. Sometimes he says, you don't want this life, kid. Right. And the kid is sort of torn. What do I do? What and do that's do? You know, the choices we make in life it will change our lives forever. Mm -hmm. And Marissa, you, both of you are Italian-American mm -hmm. actors, too. Mm -hmm. So does that add an extra layer of meaning doing this Absolutely. show? Oh, my gosh. Yeah. We're, like, all so beaming with pride. Okay. Um, I, the show is really good, we're, and we're really grateful to be there doing it and also telling the story, like yeah. Joe said, of some of the other sides of the Italian-American experience. Um, and that's really what the foundation and, and um, you know, the through line of the show really is. And Janine Molinari, who's our, our, my co-director, okay. um, she and I both have, have dedicated this production to our grandparents and all of the, what we call the Lorenzos and Rosinas of the world, the Italian-American immigrants who came here and did things the right way and earned an honest living and didn't take the shortcuts. And, and this is really for them. When is wow. the show? When, what, are we, what are we talking? We've when? been open for a weekend. Okay. Uh, so we have three weekends left this weekend, and then we close the weekend of May 19th. Okay, so there's all the information. And one last thing. Can yeah. I say one yeah, last thing? Ahead. This is the musical 
for guys that don't like musicals. Uh, we speak with a broad, uh, oh, broad absolutely. brush. Yeah. This is the musical. Guys, if you're not into musical theater and you'd much rather watch you know, a UFC match, this is the musical you got to come see. For more information, visit 7angelstheater.org. Guys, we can't thank you enough for being on the oh show. God. Thanks for having thank us. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you both. Nice to and meet you. we look forward to going to see it and again yeah. get out there. It's so nice to have you both here. Eyewitness News at four with an update on all the breaking news starts right now.